All right, guys, today we're gonna work on giving your Torium a little bit more power. Um, we use these reels for bottom fishing here for haddock, redfish, cusk pollock, bait rods for tuna guys, cod when they're in season. And when you have a bottom reel, you wanna have the power, the cranking power, so you can just reel that fish up. And you don't want a fast retrieve ratio because you're not gonna have the power to lift the weight. It's gonna tire you out and you might go too fast and pull the hook out. So having a power gear reel is definitely an advantage. And whether you have either model Torium, they come in two models. This one here is the PG, stands for power gear, okay? In the American version, you can tell it's that with the handle that looks like this. The other version is the high gear, which comes with this handle, which is kind of like a telltale. All right, this is a faster reel. This is a slower reel. Um, and this is kind of the ideal one you want for your bottom fishing. So today, what we're gonna do is just for either series, we're gonna adjust the handle just to give you a little bit more cranking power as you're reeling these up. It's a real simple thing to do. All you need is a little screwdriver and the wrench that comes with your Torium kit, okay? So you're gonna turn over to the handle here and you're gonna see this little nut, this cover and a screw. So what we're gonna do is take this screw out, pop this nut off and just move the handle back to this hole. It's gonna give you a longer handle arm and it's gonna give you even more cranking power. So it's real simple. All we gotta do is unscrew this. Okay, put it over there for now. Sometimes this bottom one gets a little stuck. I'm just gonna take an exacto knife here just to get underneath and pry it up. All right, stick that in there. Okay. Now at this point, just while I'm here, I'm gonna give it a spray of degreaser, get that grease off that was on there previously. Just clean up the reel. A little paper to, uh, cotton swab. All right. Now, little trick here is with your offhand, hold down the star drag. When you take this nut off, it's gonna get a little pressure and it'll pop up. So I just hold it down just so there's no crazy accidents. So just take your wrench, get it started. You can do the rest with your fingers, okay? Holding it down still, and I'm just gonna give it another clean, make it nice and neat, get all that old grease off. Okay. really want to get in there, you can get a toothpick. All right, now you're just gonna pull it off. Be careful, that washer might get stuck with it. So I'm just gonna take the washer, put it back on. All right, get that guy down there. Clean up the back a little. All right, now I'm gonna to go to the furthest hole or the hole to the end. So it was here, we're gonna move it back to this slot. Okay, take your nut, spin it on. Take this little, I don't even know what it is, little cover, I guess, put it back on. And now I'm just gonna tighten this down. All right, and here you wanna line up the hole, the hole with the cover to the hole provided there for your screw. So it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, I'm a little off, so let's pop this back off. Okay. Pop it in here. All right, so see, I'm a little bit past the hole. So I'm just gonna take my wrench, just go back just a smidge. Still very tight. Okay, take my screw. You can put a little grease here at this point. Um, I'll come back and get it in a second. 
just to give you a little more water intrusion, but it's over there. Forgot to bring it over. And just tighten it up. All right, there you go. Now if you now you have a Torium super power gear. So you're gonna have no problem reeling up that big fish from the depths. All right, thank you guys.